It's Saturday morning, time for your weekender version of Shop Talk with me, your hostess with the most, is Jen Cravasi. I'm here at Jekyll Bates at the finishing desk. We've got a few things to get through. I've got orders to get out today. I've got some that have already gone to the, to the postal carrier. Um, we're going to start out with this little grouping of things back here, and I can add this one in as well. These are these T-Rocks. These are part of a larger order, which consists of this. Um, the customer asked for some Alwife. And these are on um, these are on name brand baits. This is one of my tournament anglers, one of my pro staff. This is on the Mega Bass 110 Plus. You can tell it's a plus because of that deeper bill on it. But the Alwife is a real good, real good pattern. Um, very simple, plain, but definitely a match the hatch. And then we repeated that on a Rapala Shadow Wrap Deep. These are both deep divers and suspending. And then we've got some, uh, these are the little Cordell Big O's. They're tiny, but they're Big O's. And it's on that foiled, we did a little foil. And he wanted a simple black back, red throat, and the foil on the sides. So we got three of those for him. And then the other, it was two Mega Bass and two Rapalas. And then this is that foiled. And I'm going to kind of keep it at this angle so you guys can see that. And that holographic candy craw in a clown pattern. This is the Mega Bass 110 Plus. And again on that shadow wrap. We gotta get these cleaned and dressed up because he'll be by this afternoon to get them. What else do we have? We've got a rotten strawberry. And this was, I was kind of goofing around with some different types of patterns and came up with this. And it looks like it fell off of a strawberry patch. Definitely the strawberry colors. And it's got that pitting in it like you would see on a strawberry. And a little fluorescent green fading back into some yellow and then that dark, dark strawberry color on top. Little bit of pearlescence shot across the top of the bait. Green eyes, kind of red and green eyes. Yep, I'm not wearing my gloves today, folks. Sorry about that. Um, I normally do when I'm handling baits just because I don't want the oils to transfer off my skin, but I gotta put, I guess, gold bond on my hands today. My hands are absolutely trashed and they stay trashed pretty much all winter. If I flip this camera over, you can see where they just, I mean, it's bad. And this is just all paint that stays under there. No matter what I do, it's going to be like that all winter. And that's from a bass. But, hey, at least I'm catching. I'm blessed to live in Arkansas where there's open water all year round. What is this, you say? This is the Rotten Strawberry Craw. And uh, if I don't stick this into my fingers, <laughs> I can show you guys this a little bit closer. Um, I tell you guys all the time that I like to change up my crawl patterns and stencils and I'm adding another layer of depth to stuff on the special orders this year. I still paint everything that I used to paint. Everything that's online that's been on my website is a staple and it's the stuff that you guys order the most. So that stuff is always going to stay on there, but I like to kind of kick it up a notch when I get the chance. And this is one way to do that. And it almost looks like you can peel those layers off. And that's really what I'm going for when I'm painting these crawls because I want them to look as lifelike as possible. So this is the Rotten Strawberry Crawl. I don't have as much of the shading on the eyes. I really wanted to concentrate on the rest of this pattern to do the crawl. But we've got some white splatter across the back that split segmenting on top. We'll flip it over to the other side. Ouch, that kind of hurt. I'm glad that I didn't get that embedded in my skin. These are sticky sharp. These are the my standards that I've been using lately, and I really like them, are the VMC, the Super Strong Short Shanks in Black Nickel, and they seem to do really, really well. So there's that pattern for you guys. I have a couple of different things here. We've got a river to sea ruckus and a ribbit, a ribbit ruckus. Let's say that five times fast. Can y'all do it? Ribbit ruckus. I'm not even going to try. It's too early in the morning. Matter of fact. Yep, there's the coffee. 
turned out really well. It is paired and going out the door with the uh, Max version of the bait. And uh, I just, uh, I, can't, I always keep the River to Sea eyes on there so that folks know that it's not a knockoff bait. Like I always tell you guys, I prefer to use the original baits when I can. There was that, and you guys have seen this before, so we won't elaborate on that, but um, just the same pattern, that real deep purple and the feathering, which kind of gives that 3D depth imaging on the front, even though none of this is imaged. This is all hand painted. Green's a good color, folks. Green is a good color. Love the for it's it's almost like the Incredible Hulk. It's a good reference. That purple and green. This is a Florida. It's an actual frog uh, pattern. This is a Florida chorus frog, and we've got that real cool copper on the back of it. And if you look up co uh, chorus frog. It's a very thin frog. It's an actual frog, not a toad. And they are indigenous to Florida and some of the other marshier areas. There's some Alabama. You'll find it in Alabama. But specifically, it's an Everglades and uh, kind of like a Kissimmee chain frog. And one of the things that I recommend you guys do, if you get the chance, is if you want to fish specific areas or you want to paint to those specific areas, Go do some research online. All of the wildlife groups and the and the state funded stuff has got a lot of different tutorials and and things about which reptiles and and which animals are indigenous to each state. Um, and it's a great way to get new ideas for new patterns. So just kind of spend some time sifting through what all you've got. Like for example, in Ontario, if you guys are thinking about patterns for a specific contest that might be going on, say through February 28th, there is only one lizard that's indigenous to Ontario. I want you guys to figure out what that is and leave it below in a comment. I wanna see if you guys can figure it out. There's only one that's indigenous. This is the Mid-South Craw, and this is a concept from, and obviously the, the concept of craws is nothing new, but the colors and patterning um, got my first smallmouth, and you can tell this is just off the rack too, it's still got a little bit of goop on it. Um, first smallmouth of the year had a big old craw that was orange and white and just a little bit of green. Uh, but mostly orange and white and the craw tips and the nose of the craw were a deep blood red like this one is so i put it on the uh that six this is a 62 5a the pressing um it comes from overseas and it's being carried here in the states by cedar run at the moment but um and then dinger has got the 62 5b which is the mid diving and i think i've got one of those floating around here as well uh, as a matter of fact, this is the mid-diver. It's got a longer bill. You can see when you can compare it. This has got that round bill. This has got that coffin style. So this will go nine feet, and this goes to like about two to five, similar to a, um, an S-crank, how their, their depth range. But this is that duo pressing. It's a lot of fun on that. So I think that we have gone through the stuff that I've got to show you today is getting ready to go out the door. The last thing that I want to do in the video today is I want to give a huge, huge shout out to Yeti and the Gilly family for making this happen. This was an awesome surprise that I got in the mail the other day. Um, and it is my, my logo, company logo, and it was a gift. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, if you guys follow my fishing videos, the water vlog, um, y'all know that I carry a little Yeti with me everywhere I go. Um, the one cool thing about this is that the insulation is a little bit thicker on these Ramblers, um, and it's personalized, and it's got that extra layer of protection in it. This is the 20 ounce, comes with that mag sealer. It, the top is not leak proof, so if you tip it over, yeah, you can get a little bit of li liquid out. But it doesn't matter as long as I don't spill it because it's going to keep my, my whatever I've got in here, whether it's cold water in the summer or hot coffee in the winter, it's going to keep that the temperature I want it to be for hours and hours and hours and hours. These things work really well. It's no joke. They really do work. So Yeti and the Gilly family, thank you very, very much. Um, 
awesome surprise in the mail. Super, super cool. So I think they got my name on the back of it too. So yay. Awesome. Yeti. Built for, built for the wild, folks. That's my shameless plug. And um, thank you, Yeti. Yes, I will be working with you guys this year. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Enjoy the weekend. If you get a chance, get outside, folks. The graphics are incredible. We'll see you soon. Happy casting. How cold it is in here right now? Fucking cold.